what do Australians usually wear for work? If you get a job here in Australia and you're new, you're probably going to be wondering what do you need to wear for your first job and what do people wear in the office and how do you go about it? Everything depends on your industry and your role. If you're working in construction, hospitality, or manufacturing or medical services, you're probably going to need to wear a uniform. And these are usually provided by the company you're working for. On the other hand, if you're going to be working in an office-based job, the dress code is pretty relaxed in general. It's more informal, but of course, this depends on the sector that you're going to be working in. For example, I have some friends who work in financial services, banking and real estate and the dress code for these kind of sectors is very formal. They have to wear a business suit or a business dress. If you're wearing a business suit, you have to look professional and wear a shirt and trousers. In terms of shoes, if you're wearing a suit, Oxford style shoes are your best bet. And if you're wearing a dress, your best bet is to wear low heels or flats. If you're working in sectors other than banking and finance, for example, you're working in marketing or in education or whatever industry, the dress code tends to be a bit more informal. People usually wear smart casual attires. This is usually beige or dark trousers or skinny jeans with a polo or casual shirt. For women, dark jeans, a skirt or casual dress pants with a nice top or a blouse. Um, for shoes, I would recommend wearing flats or low heels. If it's cold and you need to be warm, a nice neutral color jumper, blazer or cardigan will do the job. And of course, most workplaces also have casual Fridays. And this means that on Fridays you can wear more informal clothes and be more comfortable. Now, most of us have been working from home since the pandemic. And I feel that the dress code has changed a bit, especially if you're working in an office-based job. If you get an office job when you're here in Australia, it's very likely that you'll have to work both in the office and at home. So the dress code for working from home, it's a bit different. That means you can be a bit more relaxed on what you wear, but also you have to maintain a professional and neat appearance, right? For example, you can wear a nice t-shirt or blouse or shirt. And of course, you can wear sweatpants if you want because no one will see you. <laughs> and unless you have a very important meeting with a client, when working from home, I don't think it's necessary to wear a business suit. But as I said, the fact that you're working from home doesn't mean that you can wear your pajamas whilst in a work meeting. And if you have an online job interview, the same rule applies. Avoid wearing clothes and that could be considered not professional, such as sweatpants, shorts, runners or sneakers, singlets and thongs or flip-flops. This is considered not professional in most Australian workplaces. But again, everything depends on the industry that you're going to be working in. So my advice is to research your sector or see what they're wearing at the job interview. And on your first day, I suggest dressing in a more formal way just to be safe. And once you meet everyone, you will be able to see what's the typical dress code at your workplace and then adjust your wardrobe as necessary. Where can you buy work clothing? If you want to get affordable work clothes, your best bet is to go to secondhand stores like op shops, especially at the beginning. They have a lot of work clothing at very, very cheap prices. Another option is to go to Uniqlo. Uniqlo is super affordable and great, great quality. And if you check their site, you'll see that they have a dedicated section for work clothes. So check that out. If you're someone who identifies as female and are struggling financially, I would suggest checking out this organization called Feed It For Work. They are a non-for-profit who help women struggling to dress for work and also to prepare for interviews and other services for a very small fee. So check them out. 